I'm pregnant. No, you're not. I'm pregnant. Just, there's a line. There's not. There's a line. Wait. The circle one or the other one? The big circle one. I'm pregnant. But it's like barely. It's. It... If you guys are watching this, I am in fact pregnant again. <laughs> so I want to tell you guys, kind of like the backstory, because pretty much what happened was this. I'm just gonna tell you guys what happened. So pretty much, I got my IUD out. I'm gonna set this down. I got my IUD out in December, thinking that we would want to start trying seriously in June for Leia's when Leia turns one. And I had lost my period on the IUD and I'm still breastfeeding. So I thought it would take a while for like my body to get back into the groove of things. So like, I was like, oh, I should do it like, you know, some months out to prepare for June. <laughs> so come, I got it out in December and January, I got my first period. And then in February, we got pregnant. Like what? We were obviously so excited, but we just like didn't really see it coming. That's why in the video you just watched, we're like, what? Like what? It's like, yeah, we got the IUD out, but we just like did not expect it to happen so fast. So FYI with Alea, I got my implant taken out of my arm and it took us eight months with her. So I was like expecting at least six months to be honest. So the fact that it happened like after the first period, I was just in shock. And the other reason why we were so in shock is because a couple days before that, on February 27th, I actually took a test and it was negative. The only reason why I took one again is because the next day we were leaving to Hawaii and I just wanted to know like for sure whether or not I was pregnant because my period was so late. Like my, my period was like 40 days ago. So I was like, either my cycle's whack and I'm just not getting normal periods or I'm pregnant. And the second reason was I was feeling so tired that I thought either I'm pregnant or I'm getting sick because I was like feeling so tired and so drained exactly how I felt with Alea that I was like, shoot, am I getting sick? Because we were about to leave to Hawaii like the next day. And I knew that if I was pregnant, it was just from that. So when I took the test again, a couple days later, so 27, four days later, it was like barely positive, like a faint line, but it was positive. So then we went to Hawaii. We only told my family that was there in Hawaii and a couple of my like super close friends. And then when we came home, I just wanted to feel like a little reassured. So I took another test and like literally I peed on the stick and then looked at it. And then the second I looked at it, the line was like dark, dark, like dark. So I was like, okay, <laughs> we're right, man. Um, and then based off like when my last period was, um, I went to the doctor thinking I was like when I got back that I was already eight weeks when I got back from Hawaii, but she did the ultrasound. Turns out I was only five weeks. So she just thinks I ovulated like way later on in the cycle, just from like breastfeeding and getting off the idea. I didn't ovulate like the normal time of my cycle. So the estimated like due date is around November 10th or 12th ish. And my birthday's November 8th. So that's fun. But um, we're super excited for baby number two. We're going to be finding out the gender really soon. And um, we're going to do sneak peek again. We did that with Alea. So stay tuned for a gender reveal. I'm not sure if I'm going to be posting the gender reveal on my Instagram or here last time with Alea. I just did it on my Instagram right away because I was so excited. I didn't even have time to like edit a YouTube video or anything. It was just boom. I think I just did it as an IGTV like right away. So much quicker. But uh, I don't know what one I'm going to post it on. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll link it down below. It's just at Sierra Tyler on Instagram. But on Instagram is where you're going to see a lot more of like my daily bump updates and everything like that. But we're doing this. Baby number two is on the way. My babies are going to be exactly a year and five months apart. So Alea was born June 10th, 2020. And this baby is coming around like let's just say November 10th 2020 somewhere around there um so right now I'm only seven weeks so I like I took the test went to Hawaii blah 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 and now here I am 
finally explaining everything. But um, I'll show you guys what my tummy's looking like right now. So pretty, I don't know. I like to say it's just bloat, but who knows? That's what we're working with right now. It's a little, little peanut, a little baby. Um, but I still fit, still fitting into these jeans. They're not very comfortable, but <laughs> still squeezing into them. But yeah, guys, I'm really excited to take you guys along this journey. I know with my last pregnancy, I posted like every trimester and I posted tons. So I really do want to do the same thing, but it is a lot harder because I work from home with my baby, current baby now, with my nine month old. So my life's a little bit more busy. That's why it's kind of hard for me to do YouTube, but Definitely want to get this video up there and then hopefully I'll have like some trimester updates and like different pregnancy updates and stuff like that coming to YouTube. So make sure you're subscribed and um, like this video if you're excited for baby number two. And I would love to know your guys' guesses on the gender. So just FYI, I feel all my symptoms are the exact same with Lele. Just super tired and then just morning nausea but goes away by the time I eat breakfast. That's it so far. Um, so give me a guess on the gender because we're going to find out real soon. All right. Bye, guys.